We're back here at Valdesfria, about 1,400 meters above sea level. We're going to do a field test of the NRF9160 system in package. And yeah, the great thing about this region here in Valdesfria is we have one base station located right behind us. It's a Telenur base station. And basically we'll be looking at six key parameters at one kilometer intervals away from the base station. So we'll start on the road that passes right by the mountain with the base station on it. Then we'll stop for each kilometer that passes and take a new, get new parameters for each kilometer that passes until we have gone far enough to lose connection completely. For this test, we're using the standard UDP sample from the NRF Connect SDK that sends 300 bytes of data to a server in the cloud. We're running the firmware on four separate NRF9160 DKs with the Telenor SIM in each. Two kits, one for LTEM and one for NB-IoT, are used for gathering modem traces with information about the connection to the base station and the data transfer. Similarly, two separate kits are used for capturing the power consumption with a Power Profiler Kit 2 connected to each of the DKs. These development kits have the modem traces disabled. This is to ensure that the measured power consumption is not affected by the modem trace collection, which uses more power than just running the UDP sample application. Bjorn here is taking care of the measurements on the LTEM kits, while I am doing the same measurements on the NB-IoT kits. We see that the measurements show relatively poor signal strength from the first test location 3 kilometers away from the base station. For both the LTEM and NB-IoT kits, the output power at this point was very high and the received signal strength was lower than expected, both according to our expectations at this distance and when compared to later results further away from the base station. We think that this comes from the terrain disturbing the line of sight to the base station as images from Google Earth and Street View reveal an extensive rock formation directly between the base station and the measuring point. We can see that the signal strength improves and stays more consistent with our expectations at the test points at 4 through 12 kilometers away from the base station, with output power increasing and RSRP decreasing as we move further away from the base station. The LTM device had lower total charge in the connection from 3 to 10 kilometers. But for 11 and 12 kilometers, the NB-IoT kit had lower total charge in the connection. This can be explained by the terrain change, which affected the RSRP and the output power seen on the same distances from the figure shown before this. This is due to the broader bandwidth of the LTM technology, allowing it to complete the sending of data in a shorter amount of time and then go to sleep. It also uses a shorter amount of time to register to the network. From the time in connection data of the modem trace, we can see that on average the LTM kit spends less total time in connection than the NB-IoT one. It is also worth noting that the RRC inactivity timer is 7 seconds longer for the NB-IoT network, which is over 60% more than for the LTM network we are connected to. This parameter is configured by the carrier and cannot be affected by the user directly. This difference should also add to the higher power consumption of the NB-IoT kit. In this field test, we saw that LTM has lower power in the shorter to medium distances, while NB-IoT has lower power for the longest distance away from the base station. We believe that this comes from the difference in the bandwidth and throughput of the two technologies, allowing the LTM devices to connect and send the data faster. Um, it's, it's good to note that uh, these are quite extreme conditions here. We only have one base station on top of Bittihorn for many kilometers around us. Um, so in normal conditions, um, your NRF 9160 SIP will reconnect to another to a better base station um, before it loses connection completely. You can find the complete test results and our analysis on the blog post we put up. You go to telezone.nordicsemi.com to read all about it.